Hey guys, in the previous video, we agreed that today I will show you how to animate distance with the magical hand hand extension. It's simple and complete rig. Let me first explain how to work with it. Make a new comp and then wipe this lovely extension. Window, extensions, handy hand. From create, left hand, right hand, select one. Now return to the handy hand. In the style section, it gives us five styles. First one, the thickness of the fingers are the same without a stroke. The second, I didn't see much difference between these two options in practice. The third one, make the fingers taper. Batch. The force stroke towers the entire hand. And in the fifth, the source in addition of the entire hand, it also covers the joints of the fingers. Okay, return. From here, we can reach these poses very easily just by clicking. See? Cool. About manage. It helps you to change the right hand to the left hand and turn your hand 180 degrees. For another setting, go to the effect control. From this part, you can change hand color, stroke color, stroke width, finger width, finger length, Thumb width, palm length, spread the finger, rotate your hand, change your wrist width, at the end, bend your fingers and make your animation. Thanks everybody! Oh guys, I forgot one thing. That you can make your hand four or five fingers. Of course, it is an active in this style. Let's go to animate. Now keep framing all the fingers. Right. The next pose open the hand. Press F9. See, we need follow through overlap, so put one or two frames between them. I want to change the timing, so change the graphs from the graph editor. The parts with a step slope are faster and the parts with gentle slope are slower. Increase the scale. Draw an elbow by pen tool. Rename to elbow, press Y, place the anchor point below, press V, parent the hand to the elbow, press R, 
keyframing rotation over. Then give rotation to the rest. Now give it position, separate it. Keep framing here. Then goes down. And in the middle goes up. I change the timing so much to achieve what I want. Be brave in changing, even one frame is effective. Wonder, would you like to go to the second part of animating? I cut the elbow layer in the last keyframe. Ctrl Shift D to have a different animate in the continuation of the previous animate. Press U, delete all the keyframes, parent the elbow 1 to the elbow 2. In the cutting area, turn on position. It goes down a few frames ahead and finally it returns to the previous position. Trim the layer in the keyframe 2 except one frame. Select these two keyframes and press F9. Hold Alt and click on Y position. Type Pop Out. See, we did it. Now I give gradient to the hand, duplicate, mask the palm by the pen, press F, increase feather mask. Open layer, effects, appearance, keyframing color. Level up background and texture. Make a solid, right click, new solid. Duplicate, we need gradient. Go to the effect, generate for color gradient, blue, purple. Change point place, decrease opacity, mask it with a circle, press F, change feeder to 950, place them under the layer. For the texture, I use this texture and put it in the description. Import it. Change mode to the white. You can try any mode like overlay. Now 
give position five frame move again at the end repeat the first frame select the keys right click toggle hold keyframes press alt click on watch pause loop out very well we're back at start we're gonna create a new solid add cc particle word effect press rate one change particle type to star decrease the size Change color burst and this. Open physics. Velocity zero. Gravity zero. Open producer. Increase reduce x and reduce y. Then Keyframing opacity When the hand is open, the stars appear <laughs> Moon and the stars I draw a star with shape to And with the help of his truth, I soften the edge. Open layer. Select round cap, round join. I want three more star. Change their scale and color. Then draw a moon by pen tool. And current the path with arms. Place it in the desired position. Well, power into the hand. Keep bringing a scale and position. When the hand is fast, we change the position to the palm and set the scale to zero. Repeat it for the stars.
Now change timing. Good. Light. We need light. My glow effect. Set glow reduce. Duplicate. 62. Duplicate. 526. Copy the glows. And paste on another shapes. Gorgeous. For more light, create a new solid. Then add fractal noise effect. Add CC light rays, intensity 50, radius 250, warp softness 10. Set transfer mode to noon. Change mode to luminosity. Parent it to the hand. Now make it bigger. Keyframing opacity 0, 50. Then keyframing center. From the palm to the up. Place the light under the texture layer. Wow! Congratulations! Interesting tutorials are waiting for you. So please subscribe me if you like more of this. If you have any question or suggestion for future tutorials, tell me. Your comments are valuable for me. See you in the next video. Good luck, guys.